One of the most common questions that I get in regards to affiliate marketing websites is do you need to pay for SEO in order to show up in Google search results? In today's video, I'm going to be explaining why you do not need to pay for anything to get your articles to show up in Google search results and sharing my nine best tips on how to get your articles to rank on Google the best. Hi everyone and welcome back to another video. If you're new here, my name is Greg and I like to talk about online entrepreneurship and share helpful resources that I wish I had along my journey. So if you're interested in making money online, feel free to look around the channel and consider subscribing. For all of you guys who are returning to the channel, as always, thank you guys so much for all of the support on these videos. It means a lot to see how much you guys appreciate these videos, knowing how much goes into making them. With that said, for any of you guys seeing these videos, again, you know that the style of these videos is no fluff and straight to the point. So with that said, let's go ahead and get started. So the big question that I get is, do you need to pay to get your affiliate marketing articles to show up in Google? As you guys may know from the other videos on the channel, I'm always talking about the main way that you're going to get traffic to your affiliate marketing websites is through organic Google search results. The way that this works is someone goes on to Google and they search something that is related to an article on your website and they scroll through and find your article. They see your title and the snippet about the article. They click on that article. They go over to your website all completely for free. You don't have to pay for any of that and they can start reading your article. The reason that this is the best type of traffic is because one, you don't have to pay for it. And two, the more articles that you can get to rank on Google, the more traffic that you will get to your website. The question though is how do you get your articles to rank on Google and do you have to pay for anything? The short answer here is no, you do not have to pay for anything to get your articles to show up in Google, but there are nine tips that I definitely have for you to increase the chances of your articles being ranked in Google search results. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started with tip number one. The first tip I have for you is to make sure that you are choosing good article topics. The last thing you wanna do is find out that the article that you spent all this time writing, when it goes into Google search results, there are a lot of very fierce competitors. By fierce competitors, I mean websites that have been around for ages that have thousands of articles on their website, and these are big names in the space. When you're scrolling through these search results, you will likely recognize these brands, and those are what I consider a fierce competitor. So the way that you avoid this and you find good articles to write about is a simple strategy, and it's simply doing your own research on Google searches. What I recommend you do is look at specific affiliate products and specific questions or search terms for those products. You may find as you're looking through, certain specific products don't have as competitive search results, and then further, certain search queries and questions on certain products have less competition than others. Wherever you can find a hole in the search results where it looks like a specific question for a specific product doesn't have many competitors, those are the types of articles you wanna write. In the beginning, you wanna write articles for the least competitive searches. As your website starts to get bigger, you become more fierce of a competitor yourself and you can start to outrank other websites on more competitive topics. So with that said, picking good article topics is tip number one, but it brings us right into tip number two, which is making sure that you're picking good titles. As you're doing this research, looking at the search results, look at the other competitors that you're going to be writing articles with. Make sure that your title is better than theirs. Think about if you were someone searching on Google and you saw your article and their article right next to each other, which one would you click on? To give you a perfect example, if their article is five of the best things in this niche, make sure that yours is something like 15 of the best things in this niche. As someone is deciding which one they should click on, they're likely going to click on the one with more items in that list because they'll know that they can get more information in one article than going to multiple articles to get the same amount of information. With that said, it brings us right into tip number three, and that's to make sure that all of your articles in your website are at least 1,000 words. I say that the hard minimum for all of your articles should be 1,000 words or more because Google wants to make sure that they're ranking a substantial article. Google doesn't wanna show you any search results on the first page if you only have a paragraph or two paragraphs to your article. Google wants to make sure that what they are recommending to someone to click on and go read is a substantial piece of content. Now, yes, I have seen Google rank articles that are less than a thousand words, but I would say as a rule of thumb, try to get at least a thousand words in your article, and you can even go up to 3,000 words or more if you need to on an article. The way that you'll know how long your article should be is when you're doing that research on who you're competing against on a certain search term, look at how many words are in their articles. If the article you're going to be competing against only has a thousand words, Yes, you can write one that's a thousand words as well, and you may rank just as well as them, but if you go ahead and write an article that has 2,000 or more words, you're just going to blow them out of the water. So with that said, for different article topics, the length of your article may need to be longer to outrank the competition. This brings us right into tip number four, and this is making sure that the content that you're writing is not only long and lengthy, but it is filled with good content. One of my favorite ways to make sure that Google sees that the content is good in this article is putting in links to great resources. 
As the Google robots are crawling through your articles, they will see that you are linking out and branching out to helpful resources for the readers. This is a great sign and is going to help you to rank higher in Google. One of the main things that Google is looking at to see where to rank you in the search results is how long someone stays on that article once they've clicked on it and started reading it. This is where those last two tips come into play because if you have a lengthy article filled with good content and links throughout, people are going to stay on your article longer, which in turn shows Google that it's a better article and they will start ranking you higher. The fifth tip that I have for you is to make sure that your image is a great image that catches someone's attention and is relevant to the article. There's one metric that Google looks at called your bounce rate. And essentially what that measures is when someone clicks on your article from Google and they land on your page, do they stay on the page and continue reading or do they just go back to Google and find something else in the search results? One of the best ways to make sure that people stay on your website once they click on it is to have a really good and relevant image. The image is at the top of your article and it's one of the first things that someone's going to see as soon as they get there from Google. So make sure that you take time in picking which image you're going to use and make sure that it's relevant to what the reader is expecting when they're clicking from Google onto your site. Tip number six is to make sure that that image is sized properly. Yes, we do wanna have a clear high quality image, but no, we don't want the full size of that image because it is way too big. The ideal size that I use for my article images is 960 pixels by 640 pixels. Depending on the aspect ratio of that photo, it may vary a little bit, but make sure that that 960 pixels is set properly and the other one will vary close to 640. What this is going to do is make sure that that image is still clear and it still looks high quality, but the file size of the image will be far smaller than if you were using the full size of that photo. Now, for those of you who are more advanced, you can do one step further. Once you've sized that image to 960 by 640, 40, you can then upload it to a compressor and make it even smaller. The one that I personally use is compressor.io. You simply upload your image, it makes it smaller, and then you download it. That downloaded image is the one that you put in your article. It'll still be 960 pixels by 640 pixels, but the file size will be even smaller while retaining the full quality of the image. That's just a little tip that I've learned over the years. If you do enjoy that one and the other ones in these videos, feel free to leave a thumbs up on this video. I really do appreciate it. So we're almost done here with the tips. The last three tips, seven, eight, and nine, are going to be off of your actual website. They're not going to be on site or on article, but don't let that take away from how important they really are. Tip number seven is making a Facebook page specifically for your affiliate marketing website. Yes, it's going to take upfront time to customize the cover photo, the profile picture, the about section, and putting in a link to your website. But once you've done that the first time, you don't have to do it again. Now, the purpose of this page, once you create this Facebook page, is not really to build up a lot of followers, However, it is to get backlinks. So once you publish an article to your affiliate marketing website, just go over to the Facebook page and post the title and a link to that article. This is just going to show Google that you do have other websites linking to your website and your specific articles. It's only going to help you by giving you more backlinks to power up your articles a bit so they rank higher in Google. Tip number eight is along the same lines. This is doing the exact same thing, but with an Instagram page. Now, the cool thing about Instagram is all of your posts are going to be photos. You can use the same photos that you use for your articles. And then the really special thing here is that you can use hashtags on your Instagram posts. Now, what hashtags are are basically niche related topics. And the benefit that they give us is giving us organic traffic back to our site. Every time you make a post on this Instagram page, you can put in up to 30 hashtags on each of the posts. Now in those 30 hashtags, you wanna make sure that you're using hashtags related to the niche or the specific article that you're writing about. What this will do is it'll show that post to people interested in those topics, even if they aren't following your specific Instagram page. Now, one of the downsides to Instagram is you can't link directly from each of the posts. So you can't put in the article link so someone can click it. The only place that you can put a link on your Instagram page is in the website box in your bio. You will just link directly to the homepage Page of your affiliate marketing website. And lastly, we're on tip number nine. It goes right along with Facebook and Instagram, but this is creating a specific Pinterest page for your affiliate marketing website. Pinterest is pretty cool because it's very similar to Instagram, except people can click directly on each of those pins and go directly to the article. Now, the key here for Pinterest posts is to make sure that you're making really good posts on Pinterest. There is a lot of competition on Pinterest, but if you're making really attractive posts formatted vertically, so they take up a lot of space on Pinterest and catch people's eyes as they're scrolling, you can get a lot of free organic traffic this way and it's going to give you another backlink to help you rank higher in Google. Now for those of you who have never made a pin on Pinterest, the design layout is pretty important here so I recommend using templates. Placeit.net, I'll put a link down in the description. They have Pinterest templates you can use and those will allow you to easily create really attractive and effective pins for Pinterest. 
So guys, I hope this video has been helpful and shared nine tips to get your affiliate marketing articles to rank better in Google. Just remember, you don't have to pay a single dollar to get your articles to show up in Google. It's just doing the right thing so that Google sees them and ranks them on their own. With that said, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Feel free to leave a thumbs up, share it with anyone. And if you have any questions, let me know down in the comments and I'll help you guys out. All right, guys, I hope this was helpful and I will see you all in the next video.